Please welcome Hendrik Bartolomeus, Experimental and Clinical Research Center, Charité Universitätsmedizin Berlin, and Max Delbruck Center for Molecular Medicine in the Helmholtz Association. A personalized approach on fasting. Thank you very much for giving me the opportunity for this talk. And as you see, I have at least the longest affiliation today. So I will talk about a brief example from our lab, how we try to use multi-omics data for personalized decision and lifestyle interventions. So we had a look at a clinical study with patients with metabolic syndrome, so obese patients with uh, diabetes, uh, disturbed blood lipids, and also hypertension. And we were particularly interested in the hypertension. And we divided them, randomized them into two groups. One was a state-of-the-art DASH diet, so an uh, in-studies approved diet to control blood pressure. And we tried to augment this in the other half of the patients with a five-day fast, so five days of not eating and then switch to DASH. And what you can see after three months with a blood pressure medication is that most of the DASH patients couldn't reduce their antihypertensive medication. However, when they underwent a five-day fast prior to the DASH intervention, most or um, a lot of the patient could reduce the antihypertensive medication. So we were wondering what is happening during the fasting, and we had a look at the microbiome and immunome composition. This is a two-day two-D representation of all the bugs in the gut microbiome, and what you can visualize here are shifts during intervention. So this patient moves in a certain direction during fasting, and three months after fasting, he reverted this change. So he moved in the opposite direction. However, other individuals showed completely opposite patterns. But overall, we can see in our cohort this pattern of fasting, red and the reversion during refeeding. So something happening and is reversed, however, with individuals reacting different. We can see the same thing for the immune composition. Also here, 2D representation of approximately 400 different immune cell subsets. And also this pattern of fasting and refeeding. So we wondered, are there uh, responder-specific shifts in this, in this whole lot of immune composition and microbiome? And for example, here, the bacterial species is depleted upon baseline in blood pressure responders, so people who can reduce their blood pressure, then increased even over the non-responders during fasting and then back to baseline after the intervention. And this is also true for some gene modules and another bacterial species. But most interestingly, we can see <coughs> already difference at baseline. So even before they underwent the intervention, people who respond with blood pressure are different. So we wondered whether we can predict the blood pressure response. And using a data-driven um, machine learning al algorithm, we could create a logistic regression model. And I can make this quite short for you. In this small number of patients by leaf one out cross-validation, we could predict a single subject with 70%, so we are on our way to personalized decisions for lifestyle interventions. Thank you very much.